Griff, what a win. How's the feeling after that one? Yeah, it's uh, a massive one. Any, any win away is kind of good. So um, I haven't beaten the Saints on anything personally. So uh, it meant, meant a lot to, to us as, as a group. And I guess every game towards the end of the year becomes a big one. But um, yeah, that was also a good win for sure. At halftime, uh, the Saints were definitely pretty much on top of us. Um, it was great turnaround from the boys. Yeah, I think we understood that we hadn't played the best footy at, um, at half time and um, we probably looked around and said we're pretty lucky to be within a goal or a goal or two, so eight points I think it was at half time and um, we thought that as long as we kind of kept pushing the wheel and, and playing our way then um, it give ourselves the best chance to tip back like we did and um, yeah, we're glad we did. And what can you attribute to the turnaround? What's that, sorry? Uh, what can you um, attribute to the turnaround, like why... why... After half time? Yeah, yeah, after yeah, half time. Yeah, I think... Um, we went back to, we kept playing our way, but um, yeah, it was one around the contest really. Uh, the mids really got to work and Big Sean was, was busy in there with Wiz and um, yeah, seeing kind of the likes of Barra and Fifey link up is something that you just, you never take for granted seeing those two kind of champions of the game link up. And then obviously with um, Caleb and, and Schnee, um, yeah, it's always great. So they got to work and uh, behind the ball, we got it, we got it done. And, and not only were we kind of able to hold them up and stop them from scoring, um, we were kind of pulling the scoreboard pressure ourselves, so um, yeah, it, was, it was just a really good quarter to start with at the third, and, and we kept strong throughout the fourth. Seven multiple goal kickers, great to see Fifey pop up and get three as well. 100%, yeah, I was a bit shocked when he'd only, his uh, career best was four, so I thought, he'd, um, I thought he'd have a bit more in him than that, but I reckon uh, if we keep getting looks like that throughout the year, and yeah, he's going to be kind of uh, getting real more damaging on the scoreboard as well. And, as you said, plenty of goal kickers, which is what we like to say. I think Wiz got two, so he'd be stoked with them, and um, no, it's very good. Andy with 36 and a goal, he's just brilliant, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he's having a great year for sure, and uh, credit to kind of Josh Carr and what he's been able to do there to uh, push along those mids and, and take Andy Brasher under his wing a bit and uh, driving all the midfield group along with him. So. And a bit of a spanner in the works um, at the at the start. Alex out uh, 15 minutes before bounce. You're finding out you're going back, and Cox is changing his man. A little yeah. bit chaotic, but how do, how does that go? Yeah, I guess it is a bit chaotic at, at the time, but um, no, we're kind of happy to. The next man in mentality always goes, and uh, yeah, it's a bit bit different. Obviously, thinking I was going to play forward and then back, so um, no, I was just happy to come in and and really enjoy it down back, and just happy we won. To be honest, it's great to see the. Um, just the importance of your role being able to impact forward but then also jump back like that as well. Yeah, no, it's, um, I guess it's a bit of a string to my bow I've been able to add this year. Um, but uh, at the same time, I mean, it makes it so much easier with the backman that I get to play with. I mean, Lukey, Coxy, Wills, Walks, um, Youngy, it makes it makes such a big difference. So Clarkie as well, I mean, he's bouncing off the half back like no other and had a career high disposals game himself. So what he's been able to do is awesome since he's come to the club and just I love playing with him. And what did you make of their effort today down back? Down back? Yeah. Yeah, everyone just kind of stood up when, when they needed to. And um, Clarkie's having a yeah, bit of a breakout year for sure, as, as I said. And um, I guess it's just trust down the line. You see kind of <clears throat> like one-on-one -on -one contests, two-on-one contests, and you just have full faith in, in the boys to kind of get it done. And it helps us kind of set up and, and play our game from there. Speaking of Clarkie, Will, Brody, and Clarkie have been an amazing recruits this year, hey? Crazy recruits, yeah. I was kind of... Um, looking up on the board at what um, Wiz was able to do it at half time, seeing his stats and yeah, I mean, it's de definitely just been great that he can fit into our system and um, not just fit in, but kind of excel in it. And, and the same goes for Clarkie, where he didn't get the opportunity as much where he was before. And uh, yeah, he's obviously been able to take this game to the next level. How important was it getting the win at Marvel, seeing that the next two away games are also here? Definitely, yeah. Um, I guess it instills confidence in us that we can win it at this venue. and. Um, as you said, we, we've got our last couple of games spread out between here and Optus, which is good, and maybe the last at Canberra. But uh, yeah, between now and the end of the season, it gives us a clear focus, allows our prep to be kind of stay the same, and um, yeah, just puts a lot of confidence in us. We can win away. And another big game next week against Sydney. They're looking pretty dangerous at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, big game. So um, haven't looked too far ahead. I think uh, they've just played themselves into form again against uh, the doggies. So. Um, they're going to be running, running, running rampant, so it'd be very, very good to come against them. Have a good challenge.